Running. Did you know that running is amazing for your cardiovascular health? This basically means that it could decrease the risk of heart disease by up to 45%, which is significant. Running also can release endorphins, which causes countless benefits for your mental health as well. That's why I consider it therapy. On top of all this, running also strengthens your immune system, which means it's going to take more for you to get sick. So running is Ooh, very necessary. The, to be in ideal health, you need to put them both together, cardio and resistance training. I've been running on and off my entire life, but it wasn't until last year where I did a race called Rhymicon, which I'll get more into when we start our countdown of top 10 reasons why I run and why you should too. In this video, I'm going to highlight the amazing benefits of running. So if you're like me and you used to hate running, maybe this video will change your mind. I have had such a love relationship with running over the years, but I could probably safely say now that I've turned into a runner. I've come to the dark side, guys, and there are many reasons for that. I love running, and by the end of this video, you will too. In fact, I like it now so much <clears throat> that I participate semi-regularly in non-competitive races, such as 5Ks, 10Ks, obstacle races once in a while, road races. This is where I started my running journey, unofficially, uh, was the Bone Frog Challenge. Now, this was a nine mile challenge. It was all obstacle based. I'm down here. I'll, I'll be right up. It also helps oh, to have nice. a reason okay. why you do things too. So my family is my number one reason for doing anything. And running is included in that. I want to be the best version of myself for them. And for the first time in my life, and this is something I never thought I'd be able to say, I completed my first half marathon last Saturday. Push it, babe! Go, Mark! You got it! You got it! Push, 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 push! Come on, Mark! Push it! Go, babe! Last Saturday. Yeah! So, I'm not even a week post past that yet. So, that's one of the reasons I wanted to make this video. To inspire others who think that they'll never be a good runner or who dread running. I want to tell everybody right now, like, you can run if, if you wanted to. And this video is a reason to, is going to give you a reasons to want to, because I was just like you. I never wanted to either. I always dreaded it. I was always the slowest because of my asthma, because of my size, <clears throat> even in sports. But, uh, I'll tell you this right now, like the more you do it, the better you get at it, just like anything else in life. And the more you wanna do it. So let's get onto the list. So without further ado, this is my top 10 reasons to start running. <clears throat> Number 10, the food, motivation, and inspiration. One of my main motivators for running is so I could eat more, yes. So if you're if you're trying to lose or gain weight it's all it all comes down to calories it's that simple it's uh, in terms of a it all comes down to a calorie deficit or a calorie surplus if you're trying to lose weight it's a deficit meaning you burn more calories than you take in if you're trying to put on weight it's a surplus meaning you're trying to get more calories than you burn whether you're trying to bulk whatever that means so it's it's quite literally that. It's that simple. <clears throat> so, if running, and I, I love to resistance train as well, which means strength train, weights, or calisthenics, or any other type of strength training. I love to do that in combination with running. In turn, that, that means more calories burned, which means to me, more calories needed. So... And I love food. I don't discriminate with food. So, number 10, the food, motivation, and inspiration. And when it comes to inspiration, I can't think of another reason than 
all my friends and peers in the running community. I've had such a big influence and the run I ran last year, the relay, changed my life. Listen to the volunteers out there, thank them for their awesome support. Which, as the name suggests, it starts in Rhode Island and it ends in Hartford. So you go through three states and it's a six person relay. And as one person's running, the other five travel in a van and meet at the next relay spot. This race felt straight out of a movie. One of our team members suffered from heat stroke, so we just were able to hang on to our bracelet to stay in the race. You got it! I never had so much fun running in my entire life, and it lit a fire in me that I didn't know was there. So I want to thank my teammates and my brother-in-law, Ryan, who's been my greatest running inspiration since day one. Feel free to follow them on Instagram because they inspire me and hopefully they could inspire, inspire you as well. Whoops, don't want a copyright claim today. Number nine is the unlimited apps and resources available to run today. My favorite is Nike Run Club. I can honestly say this app has helped me tremendously with my running. Thanks to my brother-in-law, Ryan, who is a runner. He recommended to me Nike Run Club. It's an app, it's free. It's just a simple guide to certain routes. All right, it'll track your distance, it'll track your runs for you, all in the system. My favorite parts about this app are the guided runs and the run plans. I'm currently doing a half marathon plan. I'm doing this half marathon right. Coach Bennett, who's the uh, owner, or he's one of the main coaches. He gives you some inspirational verbal guidance throughout the runs, and he doesn't talk the whole time. This segues perfectly right into number eight, which is that running is therapeutic. I'll tell you guys something personal real quick. I've been going through some depression lately, and I'll tell you right now, the best cure for my depression is when I run. Nothing turns my brain off and silences those, those negative thoughts like running does. If you, if you are a runner or if you know somebody who's going through this, if you're a runner or if you are a former runner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's number eight, therapy. Number seven is that it makes you get used to the elements, right? I'll speak personal to myself. I hate the treadmill. I hate the treadmill because it feels like I'm going nowhere. And it just, the process of just running is, is not appealing to me. One of the best parts of running, in my opinion, is that it takes you places. So that's why I always like to switch up my routes that I take and it's just all different elevations, all different terrains. A big example I like to reference is Forrest Gump. Gotta love Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is such an inspiration to me and I know it's, it's like a fictional story, even so. It's very inspiring and and I just, ever since seeing that movie when I was young, seeing him see all the, like run through the entire country, run through, see all around the world, see all around the beautiful scenery, the beautiful mountain landscapes in the back of him, desert landscapes, that's always intrigued me to working out. That's why I don't like running on the treadmill. I gotta run outside, regardless rain or shine, as you can tell, I'm soaked, and this isn't rain, this is sweat. I just went on a run. So, yeah. Not to mention exposure to the elements actually really builds up your immunity as well. Your body builds that resilience. That's why I rarely ever get sick. So the number six reason, the number six thing I've learned about running throughout my life is overall health. Couldn't think of any other better reason 
than that. And this list is in no particular order, otherwise this one would be number one. Because I believe that all of these reasons are important and it's hard to put one more important than another. Quick disclaimer. By the way, this ranking is in no particular order. This is all my opinion, so it's not that your opinion's wrong, my opinion's wrong, we're all entitled to our own opinion. So if you disagree, awesome. That's what makes us great. That's what makes us unique. I'd love to hear about it. Comment down below. And uh, I'd love to talk about it more because I'm still learning too, especially about running. I'm, I'm no expert on running. I'm just trying to motivate somebody who's beginning to run or beginning to work out, beginning to exercise, maybe has a goal of losing weight, maybe has a goal of getting in better shape, getting in better health, and that's what I'm here to do. I wanna help people get there. I wanna, I wanna be that, even if just a small part of that, I wanna help play a part in helping somebody feel better in their own body and their health. Now let's get back to talking about health benefits. A great warm up and a great cool down especially when you pair it with resistance training, whether it be calisthenic work, weight work, any kind of strength training. It's gonna be the perfect warm up that you need. It's gonna get your body ready for that movement. It's a full body work. Works your entire body. It's a great warm up. If you do that along with static and dynamic stretches, you're definitely golden, no matter who you are. Plain and simple, this means that running is good for injury prevention, especially for the exercise beginner. Number which five. leads me to number five. Number five is anybody could do this. Anybody could run. I believe anybody could do this. Anybody could run. Anybody could get some sort of cardiovascular workout in. All right, even if it's if it does if it doesn't have to be if it's not running it's walking okay anybody could do a variant of this and reap all these benefits from them regardless of who you are as i produce more content and get more videos out i'm going to prove it more and more that's my mission and my goal is to show you that anybody could exercise kind of reminds me of Ratatouille. If you're a Disney fan, if you've seen Ratatouille, the whole theme of that movie was anybody could cook. Well, the whole theme of this channel and Evolve in general, or Mevolve, is that anybody could work out, anybody could exercise. I believe that anyone can exercise anywhere at any Feel time. Feel free to check out my first channel trailer here or down in the description. While you're down there, if you learned something new, feel free to like and subscribe if you want more. Number four, the more you do it, the easier it gets. It's really hard at first, just like anything else. And then the more you do it, the more your body gets used to it. And the more fun it becomes. And the easier it becomes too. This means that you put in the reps and learn certain things to make the process more doable. I'll show you some examples. Yeah, you guys might recognize this setup from my uh, my last video. Here's the yak tracks I'm gonna talk about in this video. I still got them, I haven't used them in a while though, because I haven't run in the uh, ice and snow in a while. But I have run in the winter. And what else is here? Let's see. Where's that vest? Where do I put that weight vest? All right, let's find out what happened to that old weight vest of mine from high school. I'm gonna change this one from the more you do it, the easier it gets to the more you do it, the better you get. It's never gonna be easy. You don't want it to be easy. You want it to be challenging. Without challenges, there's no growth. Get ready to cringe. This is me at 16 years old. And as I took it off after my runs, I felt so much lighter. As a result, it made me appreciate the struggle that much more. So always look forward to after the run, that feeling. Before we make our way into the last three reasons to run, I have a genuine curiosity. What has been your biggest barrier for beginning an exercise routine, whether it be cardio, running, walking, or resistance training in weights or calisthenics? In my experience, there's been four big barriers. A, 
no time. B, not knowing what to do. C, no equipment slash nowhere to go. Or D, no motivation or drive to start. Uh, feel free to comment down below. You could just put a letter if it's easier. You could also put E if it's another reason that I haven't listed here. I'm genuinely curious. This is going to help me with future content, help those who want to get into better shape or health, and we want to figure out how to get past these barriers together. So that is my mission here. That is my vision, if you can't tell already, is helping the beginners, the first-time exercisers, and I want to be a coach and mentor and help people discover how great they are, and yeah. Let's get back to the last three reasons to start running. Number three, it healed my asthma and allergies. I always joke, but not joke with my family and friends and say, if natural selection was a thing, I'd be long gone by now. I've taken two allergy tests in the course of the past five years, and each one said that I am allergic to every type of tree every type of bush, every type of grass, every type of mold, every type of dust, you name it, any type of plant. The only things I'm not really allergic to are foods, which thank God, I, I am mindful of that, or I try to be mindful of that and still remain in good health as much as I can. That's one of the many reasons I want to remain in good health. But in turn, in being in good health, it's kept my allergies at bay. It's enabled me to not need my inhaler as much. I still carry it on me, just in case. So I still have it on me, but I haven't used it in a long time. And that's just not talking about right now with running, too. I haven't used it with running in a long time because... The more I run, the more endurance I build, and the more my lungs get stronger, the more I'm able to breathe better. Also, take it from me, guys. This is coming from somebody who needed breathing treatments regularly as a child. So if I could get healed from asthma and barely handle running as a kid, I could barely run a 12-minute mile, and I needed my inhaler like crazy for it. So... Coming from me, guys, if I don't need my inhaler anymore, if I'm saying this, then you can take my word for it. So if you feel like you're held back by your asthma, if you feel held back by feeling out of breath, if just know that that you're, there is hope to build up your lung capacity, build up that cardiovascular health doesn't have to be running you could start with walking you got to walk before you run it's not just a figure of speech it's it's the truth so hope that can encourage you today so yeah number three heals allergies and asthma number two it's all mental <clears throat> that's right you heard me right it's not just physical it's mostly mental just like any other type of exercise just like any other form of exercising. Like I said before, therapy was on this list because running to me is more mental than physical. I get to, my brain goes into places that I don't normally get to when I'm distracted from everyday monotony through working, through trying to take care of a house, trying to do my day-to-day. -day. Running takes me to a place away from that. Running is my escape. It's my vice. It's my anti-drug. It's, it's my outlet. And it could be yours, too. You just got to get to a point where it doesn't become work anymore. And that brings me to number one, which is enjoyment. You got to have fun. That's the most important part of any type of exercise. That's what I'm all about. 
that's why I really want to show people who haven't really experienced the joys and wonders of exercise yet how fun it could be how amazing it could be how how much you could gain from incorporating into your lives and making it your lifestyle it's just there's nothing better there's nothing better in this world and it's it's not expensive to do obviously i'm out here hiking didn't cost me a dime other than maybe a dollar of gas to get out here from my house and it's a saturday it's a beautiful day in august and uh you can't put a price on this now you know that there's plenty of reasons to start running or exercising the hard part isn't starting per se the hard part is maintaining long term and making it your lifestyle Life is inevitably going to throw obstacles your way and barriers. The hard part is overcoming those barriers. Actually, the, the ones I asked earlier in the video, this next video right here addresses all four of them. Don't forget to comment down below on which one affects you the most, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.